What's up guys? It's your local neighborhood hope dealer down here in San Diego, California. Just got up early, you know, trying to spread some hope, guys. I know it's New Year's Day, you know what I'm saying? I hope you guys all had a great night, you know, but I wake up and I got a moving groove and my purpose is to spread the good news. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that every day. I'm gonna get up early and I'm gonna spread the good news. But let's start this out with a little prayer to thank the Lord of Lord, the King of Kings, all right, guys? Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you do, Father. We thank you, Lord, so much for everything that you do, Father. Thank you for showing us your will. Father, please continue us to keep us in the light, Father. Have us not be in the dark no more, where we don't have to hide nothing from nobody. We can live in the light with your spirit, Father, which is so powerful, Father. Please put a hedge of protection over all addicts and all people that are out there still suffering, Father. Please continue to have us understand that we are so blessed to live in the United States of America, that we are so blessed to be able to be born here and be able to choose on who we and what we we want to do with our lives father we're so thankful for that man other places do not get the opportunities that we get father and we need to wake up with a bunch of gratitude and and, and, and happy or enjoy father enjoy father so we can enjoy our lives every day one minute at a time or we say here at la jolla one wave at a time thank you so much lord for everything that you do and let's have a great 2022 and let's let's build off what we learned last year and continue to walk in the light with you father in jesus name i pray amen Amen, guys. What's up, man? I'm, I'm excited. 2022, you know what I'm saying? Brand new year. My last year was super well productive. I followed God the whole time, all 365 days, and now I've ended up to where I'm at right now, and I'm so thankful. I'm filled with gratitude every morning, and I continue to love the purpose that the Lord gave me is to show other people on how I was redeemed by Him so everyone else can see His power through me, and I'm so thankful for that, guys. Today I want to talk about, the topic I want to talk about is when we feed our flesh, that the, our will feeds our flesh, that God's will feeds our spirit, all right guys? And I want to really uh, distinguish the two because I can now know when it's my will and when it's God's will, you know? I, I've been able to study for a, lo a while now, almost three years, and I'm, I know how to distinguish my will to God's will, and I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for that. It's like my roadmap to success, <laughs> you know what I mean, in my, in my life, you know? But back when I played baseball, or back before I was, uh, before I came to the Lord, I was always constantly uh, feeding my my flesh with my will, and I know that now because all I did was chase pleasures, like I talk about a lot. I chased pleasures, and I continually tried to fill my flesh, you know. And the flesh always won, you know. And when we're filling our flesh constantly, we're losing the battle, guys, within the mind. Okay, like I said before, there's a dog fight, right? There's a dog fight between good and evil, and I call that God's will and your will all right and there's a dog fight good and evil right and so which one's gonna win guys the dog that you feed the most man that's 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 one of the best things that i have ever heard because i do feel every day that battle between good and evil i, I feel that guys I, I feel it every day and i continually defeat the good dog right and now i can stand tall every day and say that i'm more filled with the good dog but the evil is always in there ready to come out. You can feel it. You can feel it, guys. I know if you're a human being, if we're in the flesh, we can feel it. So in my addiction, I continually try to feel the flesh, guys. Um, try to feed the flesh. And, you know, at the very end of my addiction, you know, at first I was getting high because I like to get high, you know. But at the very end, I had to get high just to escape the person I had become. I was miserable. My vessel had ran so dry. I had no hope. I was I was unkind. I was selfish. I was constantly trying to scheme on trying to get high. And when you get into a prison in your mind, guys, yeah, you might there might be a prison that's prison, but you can totally be in a prison and not be in jail, guys. This is totally true. I know for years, you know, I might not have been in jail, but I was in a prison in my mind because all I could do was chase drugs. The obsession was so strong that all I would do is chase drugs all day long and it didn't matter who got hurt or what happened or if I committed crime, like it did not matter because the obsession was so strong to use drugs. And that's what addiction is, guys. And you you, you folks out there that don't understand addiction, addiction, man, it is wild, guys. It is wild. And I did not choose to get clean till I finally exhausted every avenue in my life. And I was finally arrested with a felony at 37 years. And I finally had brought my life from where I started using to all the way down here until where I exhausted every avenue. And finally, at 37 years old, I decided that there's no other way on the planet to, 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 to feed your flesh. And now I need to try to feed my spirit, guys. And that's when God came into my life. And now I have God's will. So now I recognize what God's will is. 
And God's will continually feeds the spirit, guys. So on the inside, like my perspective of myself, I, I perceive myself as this, this big, nice, generous, good Christian man that continually shows love. And, and when I walk in the room, I perceive myself as everybody's excited to see me there. And the whole change of perspective in my life has just been unbelievable, guys. I believe in fellowship now. In my addiction, I was isolated. I was hiding from garage to garage. You know what I'm saying? I was hiding from garage to garage, only hanging around people that could feed my flesh and my addiction. And now I have fellowship, guys. I go to places where there's tons of people and I'm excited to be there. Not another human being has any power over me, guys, because I walk with the Lord now. And God's will feeds the spirit. So when we continue to learn about the Proverbs, that's the roadmap to success. And we continue to walk in the Lord and we continue, um, and we continue to just do the right thing. You know, when you're struggling and life's going bad guys, like maybe after, maybe this year, start new with trying to do the right thing and then look for the next right thing and then look for the next right thing. And guys, after too long, you'll be the right thing. You'll be walking around on this planet and you'll be the right thing after almost three years of trying to do the right thing. And I'm not perfect guys, but this is, this is progress, not perfection. Okay. This is progress, not perfection. You have to understand that not put the pressure on yourself to have to be perfect every day. Just try to be a better you and don't be as bad as you were yesterday and don't use you know God's forgiveness as a tool to keep sinning you know what I mean just continually to try to be a better person guys and continue to try to live in the God spirit and, and understand guys that you're not going to feel God's presence all the time but I know God is there so when the days that I don't feel him as strong as others I already know that God is still there and he is carrying me through and he is preparing me for the next blessing in my life and whatever season I'm going through I embrace it and and I'm just super thankful. But what always reigns true is my purpose to be able to spread the good news to you guys. That is always going to happen. So no matter what happens in my life, I can get up anywhere on the planet and I can spread the good news to three people or a thousand people. I don't care. Whoever God puts in front of me, I want to share and shout from the mountaintops on how God redeemed me. Because like I said, I used to sit in a garage with a needle in my arm, with my veins running from me, getting up, being the person that I hate, not being able to function. And now I wake up guys and look at me, this is me in the morning, happy, joy, joyful, you know, ready to take on the day, ready to be able to handle any circumstance that comes my way, ready to be able to handle any personality that I run into. Being able to do this has carried me through, guys. I work in recovery, so I deal with all kinds of different personalities, guys. It's absolutely insane some of the things that I see in recovery, you know, especially early recovery when the demon of the drug is trying to leave the, the person's body and it does not want to escape and the person's doing every type of manipulative behavior to try to, to try to uh, keep that demon in them because they don't know any other way of life guys and i'm trying to walk into the room and show them show another addict that sobriety is possible and i wish sometimes that they could just uh, rewind to see how bad life really was for me and how bad of a junkie that I really was because they would see a lot of hope in who, have I, who I have become and I'm so thankful for that guys like I believe to shine so bright that you will bring another person out of the dark guys like you will be that lantern of light that beacon that they can see the light and you will bring them to our Lord and I'm thankful for that guys and now I want to talk about in this book the intimacy with the almighty that relationship guys where you he becomes the best thing in your life where you're continually talking to him when nobody's talking to you your brain's talking to the lord you're pulling gratitude you're so thankful for he has taken you you're so thankful for the truth that he's spread in your life you're so thankful that even though whatever happens on the outside the truth of the lord is always going to uh, maintain the, the, the test of time and i'm so thankful for that i don't know if you are but i would be <laughs> you know what i'm saying there's not a lot of truth out there on this planet right now but this right here the lord the lord can't not lie the lord will not lie the lord has never lied and you can build a total solid foundation of the rock right there and have a have a foundation that will never crumble guys never crumble and i'm thankful for that you know what i mean and this is intimacy with the almighty all right as a deer thirst for streams of water so i thirst for you god every day i thirst for the lord and he feeds me with the living water jesus didn't act unless he saw his father act he didn't judge until he heard his father judge no act or deed occurred without his father's guidance because jesus could hear what, what others couldn't he acted differently than they did. Remember, when everyone was troubled about the man born blind, Jesus wasn't. Somehow he knew that the blindness would reveal God's power. 
Remember, when everyone was distraught about Lazarus' illness, Jesus wasn't. It was as if Jesus could hear what no one else could. Jesus had unbroken communion with his Father. Do you suppose the Father desires the same for us? Absolutely. God desires the same abiding intimacy with you that he had with his Son. Just like Jesus, guys. And I absolutely love that. He desires an intimate relationship with you. And it's time to give that to him. It's time to start this new year, guys, with understanding that God loves you. That God wants you to have a new way of life. That God can redeem anybody, guys. I've been on this planet as a professional athlete, as a straight junkie. I covered everything, guys, in my first 37 years. All levels of life. You know what I mean? And now I stand here and I'm redeemed by the Lord. And I want to shout it from the roof, roof, rooftops. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm so thankful for that. And I believe in God's power. And I know you guys can believe in God's power. And all it does is take a mustard seed to start going in the right direction. Start changing the way you think. Start changing your habits. And start becoming a new person. All right, guys? So let's have a great day today. It's Saturday. All right? Let's have an awesome 2022, baby. And let's choose the Lord's will because it will feed the spirit just for today. Today matters. Thank you guys.